saw Maylee just a minute ago and she disappeared. Turn on your oh, video. Wow. There she is. Oh, you kind of match the wall. Or I'm colorblind, so maybe you don't. <laughs> no, you don't match the wall. <laughs> colorblind. Uh, to Our me, it does. Blue. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Hey Mitch. Mitch, I was just telling them that they're making this really difficult to follow up after your past couple presentations. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's like, why am I going after Mitch? Yeah, like, come on. Well, oh, we're excited to see what you got in store for us today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're excited. Hey, Jesse. Hey. So we're not going to wait too long, but we're just barely right at 12. I know we've got over 40 people registered um, today, so I don't want to... Uh, disrespect you guys that are here right on time though so we're gonna we're only gonna wait just a second here and we're gonna rip right into it anybody else want to turn on your video and say hi it's so lonely in here look how empty the office is I know we miss everyone. <laughs> i'll say hi but not with my video on <laughs> <laughs> haven't gotten ready for the day yet sean no i haven't <laughs> <laughs> We've got Oregon in the house. We have St. George in the house. Draper. Some names Mableton. I don't I don't recognize everybody. So nice to meet you new faces on here. Trayson, how you doing? Is that how you say your name? You're muted. You can unmute yourself if you want. I'm a friend of Landon's. Thought I'd tune in. Awesome. Nice to meet Trayson, Trayson is the master behind all my videos. He does all my video work start to finish. So really, oh, he's, a, he's a good guy to connect with after this. Well, Absolutely. Awesome. We might have some questions for Trayson too then. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> I honestly am excited to hear what Landon has to say because I can probably learn something too. Yep, from the other, the other side of the, the business, right? That's right. Look at all you happy faces. Hey, Jen, nice to see you on there. Britain, Andrea, Eric. Eric was going to help us out today. He's feeling a little under the weather, so he's just going to kind of hang out in the background. People are still registering, but they're late, so we're going to let them still register. Let's get going for the benefit of you guys that are here. Um, happy to see all you guys, and I'm super happy to have Landon. Um, I've been watching Landon's stuff on social media, and to be able to land him and have him talk to you guys um, is awesome. Uh, Landon's been an agent for a little over four years and he just kills it. Um, came over and kind of joined our team a little bit ago. And, you know, we all have caps in real estate and, uh, Landon just barely over a month is all he needed to cap for the year. So it went hundred percent commission. So he does some good volume too. So he's a producer, uh, well, video producer with Trayson, I guess, and, a producer in volume of real estate. So Landon, we're super, super excited to have you. So I'm just gonna let you roll. You can introduce yourself a little bit further if you want and take the screen share and uh, let's get after it. Perfect, well, thank you guys for having me. I'm excited to, to share some of the, um, really some of the pivots and some of the big things that I've done in my business that have had huge impacts and, and given me a lot of really big rewards as well. So uh, my name is Landon Powell. I've been, like Jeff said, I've been an agent for a little over four years. Uh, my wife is also an agent, so we're, we're a two-man team at the moment, um, looking to grow that here soon, but just, just the two of us. Um, I kind of got started in real estate, pretty similar to a lot of new agents, you know, doing a lot, like really putting a lot of folks on online leads, um, expireds, open houses, tons of cold calling, and, you know, was on a team, and, and it was going really well. I was, you know, gaining a lot of momentum. I was starting to produce, but I quickly realized that that was not going to be sustainable for me. Um, so before real estate, I actually raced dirt bikes professionally for six years. So I come from the action sports world. So adrenaline is kind of something that I need. I have ADD extremely bad. So the, um, yeah, the, it was not going to be sustainable to sit and cold call all day. And um, so I, I quickly realized this and needed to make a huge change. And basically what I did is I had a huge database that I had created through my racing career. And I was, I basically spent two years in real estate not doing anything with that database. And I, you know, became aware of this after I hired a real estate coach. Um, I was leaving, you know, getting off the team, going out as a solo agent and knew I needed to make some, um, some big investments in myself. And I needed to kind of really double down to be successful. 
So I hired a real estate coach um, and she looked at me after I showed her my database and was kind of basically bluntly told me that I, you know, possibly could have, I possibly wasted two years in business, but um, yeah, so I, I uh, really put a lot of focus there. And again, sorry, I'm getting, getting off track here. I told, I told Jeff, man, I'm not a presenter. This is new. Um, I love this. But I needed to do something different. I needed to stand out from the crowd. I wanted to be inspired, right? As real estate agents, you have to wake up inspired every day if you want to progress. I mean, we're independent contractors. We don't have a boss. We have nobody telling us to go to work every day. So, and I, I was the same way. I needed to be inspired and I needed to find a way to do that. And I immediately knew video was going to be the way I, it, I was gonna make it happen. Um, the way social media works right now, it basically, all the algorithms favor video, right? I mean, if you go scroll your feed, you're gonna see nine out of 10 are gonna be videos. So, um, especially in real estate, I didn't wanna also put out the same kind of boring real estate videos that a lot of people do. Um, you know, I mean, you gotta sprinkle that stuff in, there's no question. But I wanted to, I, I mean, I noticed on my own personal page that when I was putting out videos of my kid or when I was putting out writing videos, I mean, my engagement was so high. And then I throw out a video of, you know, the standard, if you know of anybody looking to buy or sell real estate, hit me up, right? And I would get like 10 likes. No, nobody wants to see that stuff. But what I realized was you have to create a brand and I wanted to attach that to my other stuff. So when people were, you know, engaging with my writing videos, they were also associating me with real estate because that's where I had transitioned my career. Um, so going into um, creating my video, I didn't, I really, when I started my video work, it wasn't anything special. My wife and I had went and bought a camera and I started putting out coming soons and open houses. And really it was, it was not great content, but it got me started, right? It's getting started is step number one. Um, and as I saw my engagement start to rise, I knew that I needed to level up. And that's kind of where, you know, people that are jumping on, Trayson's on this call. He is a professional videographer. He does all my video work. And um, I reached out to him and started doing these professional listing videos when I, when I get a listing. Um, and I'm going to show you guys a quick little example of kind of a mashup of my listing videos because I think that will show you kind of some of the things I do that are maybe a little different. Oh. Hey Landon, before you push play on that, so if I'm hearing you right, you you had success with video from your motocross days is why you thought of pulling that into the real estate field because of the engagement you had in a different industry, right? Correct. Cool. Yep. I mean, as in action sports, right? A professionally edited video is always awesome. And I think it kind of relates to, I mean, people like to see themselves on video. People like to see their businesses on video. And same thing is people like to see their houses on video. It kind of presents their house in a whole new way um, that they, they don't see. So it's, it's really cool to, to see their reactions when you present their home um, in a unique way. It, it really, uh, you know, it gets them super excited. So let me share, I'm gonna screen share with you guys and show you a quick little mashup of my listening videos. These are all just my listening videos from this year. Is that your paid model right there? It is. That's, he's the one that gets all the clients. So can you guys see that? Yes. Everyone is after a uniform property right now. Today we're along the foot of the Draper on the Bonneville Shoreline Trail, and just below me, my new listing. With all of these incredible features, there's really only one thing I can think of that's missing. Never mind. This kitchen is big enough to accommodate both of your mother. And the water is perfect. Isn't it, boy? <laughs> I love it. So quick, quick little mashup there of some of my listing videos this year. 
that uh, I definitely had a lot of fun with. Um, so I guess to, to jump back to them, one of the things that I, I really put a lot of focus on, again, is not making them cookie cutter, not trying to do your traditional um, listing video. And the first thing I do when I do that is I, when I'm sitting down with my client, I ask them, you know, what do they love about their home? What are some of their memories here? And I like to put a lot of focus on that. If you, if you notice in the one video where my, that's actually my son on the little Strider bike in the back garden, um, that's one of my most recent listings. And the seller was like getting emotional and she was telling about how her grandkids would always come over and they'd make tracks back there and they had RC cars. And she put like, she had so many memories of that garden in the back. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to get my son on his Strider and I'm going to go ride back there and put it in the video. And when I finally presented her the video, you know, she was, she was crying. She was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. I'm going to hold on to this forever. She's, I'm so excited to share it with everyone. Um, so I think the, the thing with that is not only are you doing these videos to focus on potential buyers, but you're also impressing your seller, right? Like these sellers that, I mean, past clients are one of my number one lead sources. So when these sellers are getting these listing videos and they're so excited about them, they want to share it with everybody, they're bragging about them, you're getting, your ROI on that is going to be much higher than putting a video out that's trying to just, you know, trying to blanket the whole market. Uh, so that's another realization I had that was a huge, huge game changer was making sure you're impressing your sellers. Because again, they're the ones you're trying to give value to, especially in today's market, right? I mean, it's a seller's market and we have to do so many things to show our value. Most sellers know their home's going to sell fast, especially if it's priced right. So when you sit down at the table to sign your listing agreements, having these videos, having good uh, print materials, having, making sure that your value is there makes that commission conversation go a whole lot better. Um, and they, they really see the value you're bringing. So that's, that's kind of the listing video side of things. And again, some listings are hard, right? Like not every house has a floating staircase and a pool and all these cool things that you can highlight on video. It's like, man, what am I going to do on this thing? So I like to focus on the areas too, you know, the park that's nearby, talk about that. Um, that's close to shopping and businesses and kind of give people an overall feel of what it's going to be like to live in this house. Um, and like the mountain bike video, you know, that house was nothing special inside. It was pretty mediocre, but it backed steep mountain over there in Draper. And I was like, oh my gosh, you know, I could put in my remarks, you know, it backs the Bonneville Shoreline Trail, but how cool would it be to show a video of me riding the Bonneville Shoreline Trail and dropping into the house? You know, we're, we're all visual. So being able to see how close it is to the trail was, was a total game changer. And people, you know, think they're watching a mountain bike video. And then of course you trick them and they're really watching a listing video. So yeah. it's, it's a way to keep them engaged. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then again, I think this all kind of ties in as well to in, in branding. I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen that I, I wrapped my truck, um, and I created my brand and I put a lot of emphasis on my brand. Uh, I never thought I'd be the guy, you know, the realtor that wraps their vehicle, right? You see the people with their face on the side of their car, you know, free home estimate, call me today. But I, I did not want to be that guy. But again, I, so I tried to keep my truck pretty, uh, pretty mellow as far as the rap goes. But again, I think that's the best thing I've ever done for my business because I'm always at the mountain bike trails at, at the trailhead. Um, you know, so people are starting to see my truck. It's just basically creating this repetitive thing in people's minds of seeing my brand. Um, any video I do, you know, I put a lot of branding. I, I'm always wearing branding on, on my clothing. Um, actually last month I just closed a deal with a kid that I sold a dirt bike to six months ago or six years ago, sorry when I was working part-time at a dealership um, because he passed me on Bangor Highway. And he's like, hey, he literally direct messaged me on Instagram and said, hey, I just passed you on Bangor. How dark is your tent? I couldn't even see you in there. And, <laughs> you know, like just the most random thing ever. And, um, you know, we, we went back and forth. And then he said, also, I just moved back from St. George and I'm looking to get pre-approved. Can you help me with that? Well, yeah, of course. Two months later, he just bought a house. Um, you know, so it's just these, these creative things that you have to think in. And a lot of it all boils down to being authentic, right? Of, of course, a lot of mine is focused on the action sports world. It's focused on outdoors um, because those are the people that relate to me. So when I'm putting out these videos, I'm putting out this content, people relate with that. Um, and it just, it's, it's crazy how an upstream engagement and people trust you, right? Like, again, if you look at my social media platforms, I post very little real estate stuff. Um, the majority is my family, um, the activities I like to do when I'm traveling, 
And it's because I'm, I'm letting people into my life to where they, they feel like they know me before we've even gotten together and sat them down. Um, and that's where I'm a, I'm a strong believer too in social media. A lot of people do a separate social media for their real estate. I, I don't like that. I feel like you are your brand, right? So for me, my personal page is also my business page um, because that's where all my engagement is. That's where people are seeing me. So I like to keep real estate incorporated in that. But again, it's, it's still making sure people trust me um, and they, they feel like they know me through those, those platforms. Um, and then again, I guess another thing that we did is you don't always have a ton of listening videos, right? If you don't have listings, what do you do? Because you have to stay consistent. Um, the, consi the consistency of the videos being put out is probably the number one thing, um, especially again with algorithms and everything else. If you're not consistently putting stuff out, people are not going to see you. Um, so what we've done is we've started a, a video series called the Utah Adventure Series, my wife and I. And now we've started to highlight some local businesses. We're going to highlight areas around, you know, fun recreational things that are in the area. And again, we're hiring Tracing for everyone. We're doing professional video edits and we're bringing value to other local businesses. Again, it's, it's not so much, you know, the videos are awesome when you're putting them out, they're getting good engagement, but it's, it's more about giving value to that business owner. You know, it, it boils back to people like to see their business highlighted on video. Um, and when you come in and you bring a, a film crew and you highlight their business, that's such a huge value add to that business. And now their customers, their employees, if they start talking about real estate, you're going to be the guy they're going to go to because you came in and you added that value to their business. So I think, you know, it's, it's making sure you're giving value to them. And because really in my videos that I do on the Utah Adventure Series, I don't talk about real estate at all. I make a mention of I'm Landon with Powell Realty Group, and that is it. That's where the real estate ends. Um, and it's, it, it's a hundred percent focused on that business or whoever I'm highlighting at the time. And I've, I've already seen a huge return from that as well as, you know, employees of businesses that have, have contacted me and, you know, told me my video was cool. They, they want, you know, they were going to talk to me when I was there doing it and whatnot, but, um, so that's a, another way to keep your videos consistent and, and become the community expert, right? People start seeing you. Um, on these videos on social media, you start boosting in the same area if you've got a farm or whatever you're doing and they're seeing your community videos, they're seeing your listing videos. They, they think you're just the guy in the area. You know, you're kind of the local celebrity and that's, and then they see your truck driving around wrapped, right? That's like, wow, this guy is freaking everywhere. And that's, that's the goal. That's, you know, I still have a long ways to go, but for me, that is the goal. I want to be able to walk in somewhere and be like, oh, I know who you are. I've seen your videos. You know, you highlighted this restaurant or I saw you listed this house up on the hill, or I see you driving everywhere. Um, that, that's kind of my end goal. And again, it's all me being authentic. It's, it's stuff that I like to do because um, it's all associated with my lifestyle. So it's, it's going to be very consistent for me. And yeah. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't get too off track there. No, hey, one of the things I love that you said, Landon, is that it's just as much for the clients as it is for the social media, the marketing and your yeah. personal branding. Because I mean, we've had, we have clients that just, they love a copy of the 3D tour and the professional photos of their home because it's the best their home has looked since they bought it and they're moving out and they have those emotional attachments to it, right? And now they get to take this tangible memory with them and that video um, I just love that you kind of um, tell some of the things that they like about their property in the video. So I was wondering, do you script your videos? Do you, or, or do you just kind of wing it? Are you like, do you have a sequence of, I want to make sure I highlight A, B, and C. Do you have any thought process there that you could share? So right from the get-go, when I first started, I was trying to script them and it made it really difficult. Um, so now I kind of show up at a listing. I have an idea of how I want it to go, or I have one specific thing that I want to make sure and highlight, but I kind of just let it roll when I get there. You know, I, I, I'm one of those people that my first take is always my best take. So I, I kind of just wing it from the get go. Cause if I'm scripted, then I mess up words and I'm there, you know, I'm wasting Tracing's time. We're there for five hours. So, um, I don't script them, but I do have a, usually one thing in every property that I want to make sure and highlight. So speaking of wasting Trayson's time, um, how, how long do you shoot a typical video that ends up edited down to maybe what, le less than a minute, right? Yeah, the longest we've ever spent is two days on a video. Um, and that's because we got started late. So typically, I mean, we're, we're spending, I don't know, two, two to three hours max 
on every video that we're doing. Awesome. Guys, feel free to put something in the chat if you guys have questions. Um, it looks like Sherry just did. Let's and, and I'm sure that um, everybody's wondering how much uh, Tracen costs. That's that kind of that kind of varies depending on which video we're doing, right? I mean, I'll let you guys contact Tracen directly to to go over cost, um, and I'm more than happy. Tracen, I don't know if you want to pop in the chat here and maybe um, put your contact info, but um, yeah. Yeah, and send it to me too as well, Trayson, um, and or Landon, give me his contact. I can also email everybody that registered um, if you don't have a chance to pull it from the chat. But um, yeah, that'd be helpful. I mean, referrals and contacts and totally. share, sharing our vendors for sure. Is there any, um, any other specific questions anybody has? So you said that when you first started, you went out and bought a camera. Um, is that when you realized you need to have somebody like Tracen? <laughs> was it the edit yeah. or the shooting? What, what, what? I bought a camera, I downloaded Final Cut Pro. I thought like, I, come on, can't be that hard, um, you know, to throw something together. And it just, yeah, it was, it was ugly. Um, so it I, was I just figured it was, it was better to leave it up to the professionals, keep all that for, I mean, I was spending a whole week trying to edit a one minute video, you know, like there was no time for me to do real estate when I was trying to be a video videographer as well. So <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Now we've got a really nice camera to go on family vacations that we don't use anyway. We still use our iPhones, but it's there. <laughs> I have a question for you. Have you ever had people um, say, oh, can I be in a video? Like that's their enticement to want to list with you is that they want to be in the video or do they actually not want to be in the video at all? I'm just curious if you've had. Like my sellers? Yeah. I've never had any sellers want to be in the video yet. <laughs> not, actually. not yet. That, that's a great question. I, I, it's not about the sellers, but I, I can imagine there's certain personalities just like that would want to do that. I'm surprised you haven't had anybody request that. Yeah, I was just curious if that was like an enticement, like, ooh, and you're gonna be inside the video, you know, and they'd be like, oh, cool. Or if they're like, oh, <laughs> video at all, right? <laughs> right. Yeah, no, not yet. So like, it's, 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 it's always interesting, right? Everybody's got a, I mean, some people on the videos, you know, are panicking because they're worried about their house not looking good on the video or this or that, you know, everybody's kind of got, got their thing, but I'm sure it's coming. So from the chat, Landon, um, how soon before you list the house do you do you start filming? Is this like right before or? How? Yeah, so typically I do my video the same day I do photos. Um, so I'll kind of just time it and try and knock the photos and video out at the same exact time. Cool, that makes sense. And do you use previous videos in your listing presentation for a new client and kind of show them samples of what you do? Yep, I do. And I have like my engagement as well printed off in my listing presentation. Um, so my views, how many people click on the videos, the through plays, I have all of that um, laid out in my listing presentation so they can see kind of the engagement the videos get as well. Awesome. And, and, and how often do you hear from your, your clients that you're the <laughs> only one that has showed them that type of presentation of their property? Every single time. Every single time. <laughs> it's amazing. I mean, that, that, that's a big tell right there. You know what I love most about that is um, being authentic. Yeah. Because a lot of times people go in with listing presentations, you know, everything's printed out from their brokerage of this is what my broker does, blah, blah, blah. But you're going in and you're like, this is, I'm unique. I'm different. This is how I'm going to sell your house and why I'm going to get top dollar for it. So yeah. it's awesome. Totally. And you have to, you know, you got to throw in some quirky stuff in there too, right? And, and having that conversation with the seller is like, yeah, I can, you know, show up in my suit and tie and be extremely professional and we can play piano music as we do a tour through your house, but nobody's going to watch that. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, if, if you do some research, there's, I mean, it's, it's not as um, present here, but like there's some agents, that, you know, in Southern California and some of these luxury agents that are putting out some crazy listing videos that are, you know, and it's, making them literally they're they're blowing up they're going viral and you know all it's doing is benefiting the seller because it's putting more eyes on the property it's true so having having fun with it is extremely important 
I love that. And I love that you like uh, incorporate when you say authentic, you incorporate some of your hobbies and your interests because you're you're su subconsciously letting people get to know you while you're promoting the house. I love that. And Brianna wants to know um, what were the first videos that you did, and did you do a video introducing yourself, or did you just go jump straight straight to doing real estate videos? So um, the first videos I did again were kind of just like I had an open house coming up. I would do a you know we set up the tripod out front and just did a quick you know come check out our open house this weekend. That's when we were editing ourselves. The first professional videos I did, um, we actually did kind of a four episode video series telling my story from my motocross racing, transitioning into real estate and kind of the struggles that came along with that. You know, my wife and I, we sold our first house so and moved in with my little brother in his basement so that I, you know, we had funds set aside to start our own business. Um, and I kind of highlighted that in the video. And I think that was kind of like an introductory to who we were and, and why we're doing what we're doing. Um, and then I kind of jumped into the listing videos after that. So it was kind of, I guess, like a, a setup for what was to come on, on my um, real estate content. I love that because now that, that lives on forever, right? That's probably on your website when people go to your website and they learn a little bit about you because you created that content once. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Again, it's people want to know about you, right? It's you tell people their story. I mean, it's no different than these reality TV shows. You feel like you know these people. Um, and, you know, if you were to run into them, you could have a conversation and be their friend. And you want to create that same feeling for people um, in the, the lo local space, right? That's who they want to call this other house. I love that. Um, Trayson, um, maybe you could unmute yourself and see if anybody has any questions for you. I'm kind of curious um, to know a little bit about your process um, putting these videos together. And if, like, I've never done listing videos, I've never shot anything like Landon does. And I'm sure a lot of the people on here want to, and maybe they have dabbled in it a little bit, or, or maybe they're like me and have never done it. Um, how would you say is the best way to go about working with somebody like you to get started in video? Sure. Yeah. Um, no, Landon's been awesome. First of all, he's an awesome guy to work with. He, we always have a good time together. Um, as far as like working with a videographer, he always reaches out and just says like, Hey, what's your week looking like? How's your schedule? And I'll say, yeah, I'm open Wednesday, Friday, Saturday this week. And we'll throw something together, you know, Saturday morning or whatever. Um, and real estate is what I'm most interested in. I do. My main two things are real estate and corporate work. Um, and I give priority to the real estate side because I know usually when people get to me, I'm the last part to getting the place listed. So I try to have a quick turnaround on my real estate stuff. For photos, I get those turned around same day. And then for videos, I usually do a day or two uh, to get that turned around, just depending on how big the property is. Um, you know, how it's difficult. I, I use different music on every video, so I have to find you know different resources every time. So sometimes that can take more time than others. But like I said, I do give real estate the priority. Um, so yeah, Landon, he just reaches out and just says, hey, what's your schedule like? Or hey, I've got, I'm talking to these sellers. They're ready Tuesday. Can you make it out? And we'll usually make that work. Um, and if I'm unable to make it, I do have a lot of contacts and I, I've referred other people to gigs that I couldn't make. Um, so I do have contacts if I'm not available myself. Um, so yeah, you can reach out and we can go over pricing. And again, like Landon said, it kind of just depends on the project. I usually price by the size of the house. Um, but again, we can talk about all that uh, personally. And I did comment my contact info, so feel free to reach out. And if you have any other questions, I'm happy to answer them while we're here. But I, did I answer yours at least? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, I, I didn't realize that you're doing the still photos as well. Um, so it's no different than us on a, uh, on, when we get a listing, scheduling the photography. And I, and I love Landon, that you, you do it all on the same day. You got to schedule your photos for your tour and your listing and stuff anyway. So you just incorporate this in it. Um, and so you, uh, Trace, and you do like his interior and his uh, 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 property tours as well for the steel shots, right? Is yeah, I've done a handful of photos for Landon. Um, I my prep my priority is video, but um, I do real estate photos for other agents as well, and I also do a lot of Airbnb photos. Um, but video is my more more of my passion. So Landon's kind of used me more for the video side, but I have uh, done a handful of his listings for photos as well, 
And like you said, we'll try to knock those out same day, but we do have to block more time if I'm doing both. Right, for sure, for sure. So, and I know uh, people can call you individually and go over different projects and stuff, and it depends on the size of the house. And Sherry put in the chat, can you kind of give a range I'm, uh, of uh, like a, a yeah. simple video to something a little bit more elaborate, and they're going to fall somewhere in between there? Yeah, so typical videos will start right around 400 bucks, and it can go up from there just depending on the size again. Um, or if we're doing like a long project, like uh, if we're doing an ongoing series or something, you know, but but again, like with Lennon, he uses me uh, for all of his stuff. So we've worked out like a deal together. I'm happy to do that too, just because it's consistent work, you know, um, and these days that's very valuable. Um, so yeah, kind of the base starting point for videos, usually 400 and then um, photos are usually about half of what videos cost. Um, so for your typical, like, I guess the main uh, size of for photos that I do are, will be three bed, two bed, two bath houses or condos or townhouses or whatever. And I do 150 bucks for those for the photos. And then I go up from there. And then when you hit, you know, a five, 6,000 square foot house, that may, might be like 225, 250. Um, and we can talk about that and talk about what all you want to feature. Um, and one thing with me, I don't, I don't charge more for, you know, drone or whatever, you know, I just like to, I, I get, I capture the whole house, I do the drone, I'll send it all to you and I leave it up to the agent to use what they want to use. I don't say, you know, I'm charging you 200 bucks for 15 photos. And if I make, if I send you one more photo, that's another 20 bucks you got to give me. I'm not about that. I just want it to be a seamless process, make it easy. Um, it's, it's less stress on me, honestly, too, just to be like, here's, I did the whole house and here you go. <laughs> so, uh, so that's kind of like the rough breakdown. I love that. I love that. And guys continue to put stuff in the chat or unmute yourself to ask if you got another uh, question for Trayson, but back to you, uh, Landon. Um, Jesse wants to know if you have a YouTube channel that they could go check out to see your video journey. I do. Yeah. It's a uh, Utah adventure is my YouTube channel. Um, I need to be better. YouTube is kind of my next platform that I'm, I want to attack. I think YouTube's really underutilized in real estate. And I've, I know a lot of um, agents that are really successful on YouTube. So that's something that I'm really going to try and, and get more involved in. Um, but I've, I've been terrible about uploading myself. So all my videos are probably not on there, but majority are. Uh, my Instagram is going to have all my videos. Um, then, and I can share my, my username on there as well. I think you've got a lot on Facebook too, Landon. You post there pretty regularly. Yep, yep. And on my Facebook page, Power Realty Group Facebook page as well. No, I love that. Uh, Jesse also wants to know if you have more dialogue in your videos or just more music and footage. Like um, I would say it's pretty even. Uh, I do do a decent amount of dialogue. I like to make sure, you know, that I make mention of everything. Um, but I, I also like my music to be, you know, more upbeat, more exciting. You know, it's, again, it's, I, I want it to be high energy. So I, I like to kind of incorporate that and do a little bit more of unique music than you typically see in real estate videos. You know what I like about what you're doing is, um, what people are going to find when they search for you. It's not necessarily like, oh my gosh, we've got so many thousands of views on this video. It's the best one ever. But really, did that really incorporate into any business that's harder to track unless they specifically tell you, right? But if somebody's looking at Landon Powell and thinking about you're coming for a listing presentation and they, they're going to look, right? They're going to stalk you and they're going to go to Facebook and maybe YouTube or at least search your name. Um, and I think that's important to think of when you're making this content is just being purposeful on what people are going to see when they look into you, right? It's just like our website. If all we have is our generic website where people can search for homes and we don't even have a bio or a picture or nothing on there and they're not going to, what are they going to see, right? So um, that, I mean, that's my biggest takeaway, that right there and that you do this for the client or the business owner from what I'm hearing almost first it's like you're making them happy so because I, I can relate to that I'm, I got a referral business right I want that client to be a raving fan for the rest of their life and I love that you create this and you try and incorporate something that's personal to them because they're going to watch it they're going to share it it's going to be kind of part of their story now and you just incorporate it into that so I love that 
Yeah, totally. Like you said, I mean, we're kind of the same way. We're 90% referral based. Um, so it's, it's our friends, family. I mean, when I go to family, you know, family Christmas parties, it's, you know, that's what people want to talk to me about is my videos or, you know, we saw this video, we love what you did on this video or, you know, and, and even again, going back to, I put so much emphasis on my rap truck, but it's crazy. Like when I go to a family Christmas party, I have a huge family that just having it sitting in the parking lot, it instantly engages that conversation, you know, cause I don't like to be the one that's bringing it up all the time. Um, so it's, it's an open invitation for them to start the convo about real estate because it's, it's right in front of them. Well, and I love seeing that truck. I, <laughs> in fact, we even show houses at the same time, right? Right, exactly. The funny thing about that is um, like when we used to have a landscape business, you know, we had a few trucks, right? Yeah. But we would run into people that thought we must have 50 because they, they see it everywhere. They just recognize the logo and they see it. And it's the same damn truck. Um, and <laughs> it's memorable, right? Totally. A lot of business off that truck. So Landon, you've been doing video for a, a little bit with these guys that are on the call. Um, this is awesome. So many of you I recognize uh, on here and uh, meeting some of you for the first time, at least seeing your name on there. That's great. Glad you guys tuned in. Landon, this has been, it's really good content, but um, how would you kind of coach or steer somebody that says, I need to get into video. I should do something like that. Would you suggest they do what you did and kind of maybe do that short series of who, who are you? Or should they jump right into listings? What's your thoughts there? Um, I think just doing anything is the first thing you should do, right? Any type of video and getting yourself started. Because once you get the first couple out there, it makes it so much easier to be consistent and to keep them going. Um, but, you know, the who are you, I, I think that kind of opens up who you are to yourself as well, right? That's kind of opens up your your tribe because you, you want to find your tribe. And I think that's one of the big things is you can't, you can't touch everybody. You can't please everybody. So finding your tribe and, you know, really getting with your niche of people that you want to kind of target for these videos is extremely important. So I guess uh, finding that and then going all in on that is, is what, what my advice would be, because that's when you're going to see the biggest return people that have similar interests to you um, and that are going to engage with what you're putting out. I love that. And it's going to, it's going to probably make it easier to be more consistent too, right? You're doing something that you like doing too. You're not trying to be um, the perception of what you, or what you think the, the, the people want to see, right? Just be yourself and you're going to, you're going to have people that are like you gravitate towards you. So Trace and question, if, if some people, a lot of us are used to using our iPhones, right? And, and, and maybe we've got a gimbal or whatever, and people walk around um, what if somebody's shooting like a raw video on their phone, but then they don't want to do what Landon did and spent a whole week trying to add music and fades and this and that. Do you ever edit somebody else's videos that they shot and help them get a finished product? I do. Um, I've never edited somebody's iPhone video, but I have, I have had other filmmakers uh, be too swamped and they'll send me like their corporate videos or whatever and I'll edit those together. Um, I was actually just doing some edits for Moxio up in Draper, I think, um, and they had a, a filmmaker and they were just too busy. So they sent me footage to edit. As far as real estate, um, I've edited other, so like I have an Airbnb guy and he was up in Idaho and I couldn't make it. So he just grabbed photos and he sent me the photos and I touched those up for him. But um, I mean, I'm up for the challenge. I, I just will say, if you're filming on your phone, Flip it sideways. <laughs> I don't want any of this vertical video unless you're posting on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I, a lot of agents could use that advice on taking the photos of their listings too. <laughs> and I think all of this too, you know, talking about listings as well is I feel like us as real estate agents, you know, we, if we do our job right, um, we're going to, you know, we can show our value. We can, get paid in a court, you know, accordingly, right? Like you said, people that go out with their iPhone and take photos of listings. I mean, it's just, I think it's ridiculous. Um, and so putting out good content, I think just makes us as an industry look better. Um, and that's kind of another thing that I'm after is I, I want to show the value that, that we're bringing. Um, and I want my clients to never question um, what we provide as agents. So I have a question for you, or maybe just a statement. I see a lot of people um, on here that are new agents, some that have been agents for a really long time, um, 
some that do a ton of business, some that haven't done any business. Um, one thing you said was your coach helped you figure out kind of what your niche should be or um, helped you with your kind of where you should um, lead things. Because I'm sure that other people are like me. Um, I'm not really comfortable in front of video and I'm also not super creative. So, and, and I think you are, you're doing really well in both ways. So those people that are like really intimidated with this, which I'm sure there are, um, would you say getting a coach would be a really good thing to do? I 110% believe in having a coach. Um, I think there's just, it's, I mean, again, you have to invest in yourself. I think if you're not investing in your business, which you are your business as a real estate agent, um, I, I think you're, it's going to be really hard for you to grow. So, you know, and a coach helps you fight through those things. You know, a lot of times it's, it's really our own minds that are holding us back from doing these things. If we're feeling comfortable, it's, it's, you know, so having a coach is holding you accountable and pushing you to get through it um, is, you know, a, a total game changer, really. Because again, it's, it's limiting beliefs in our mind that are, that are stopping us from doing, everybody can be creative, everybody can be comfortable in front of camera if they start doing it. Uh, you know, my first videos, I go back and look at them and they are just horrific, right? I'm looking at myself going, holy cow, I can't believe I posted those. Um, but as I continue to do it, I'm just more and more comfortable. And I think that's, that's the key is just getting started and fighting through those limiting beliefs to, to put out that first video and not care. Like, don't, don't watch it, put it, you know, do the video, post it and don't ever go watch it. <laughs> this would be my advice really because you're, you're going to critique everything I mean I critique every single video I do but at this point it's like it is what it is in my latest listing video you'll see I my hair is like flying you know and I was like mortified by it I'm like oh my gosh and um but again nobody even noticed it you know if only only I noticed it so it's yeah it's it's all limiting beliefs that uh you'll be happy you, you uh, went past but that's part of that being authentic, right? Um, I can't remember who it was. Somebody has listened to a podcast or something like that. They were they were almost saying that if it's too polished, it's almost not believable, right? It's not really the real you. And so having some flaws in there, and we, and we talk a lot about um, you know in, in learning new things, you got to practice. Yep. You can't you can't have that perfect video right out of the gate. To, you know, um, you you got to practice. You got to say, well, I'm gonna not I'm not gonna be good till I shoot hundred videos. Right. And so you just start chalking them off. Yeah. It's great. Well, you, you practice on your social media, right? I mean, we all follow people that are doing videos all day long on their stories. Right. And those are the people you see constantly. I mean, I swear I see the same five people all day long if I'm flipping through Instagram and it's all people holding their phone and, you know, expressing their thoughts or talking about certain subjects. Um, you know, so start with that, you know, talk about your day. P people like to see those things. Uh, kind of the behind the scenes when you're at showings. I mean, when I do um, video tours, when I'm at showings, just, you know, raw on my iPhone, people love that. Um, and my engagement's super high on it. And, and again, that's kind of helping you get more comfortable in front of the camera. Love it. Sean Tate wants to know if uh, you do a professional video for every home listing or do you reserve it for a certain uh, market or price point? Every single listing. Um, and that's kind of one of those consistency things. And um, I, I mean, even if I had a $90,000 land listing, I would put together a video for it just because that's who I want to be known as, you know, that's, that's my listing package. And this is what I provide regardless of what the price point is. I love it. Yeah. Real estate is the greatest business, um, out there, both for investing and for helping your clients, right? For sure. Can't beat it. Anybody else have any questions for Landon or for Tracen even? Jordan, did you just open your video because you had a question? I just hopped on, sorry. Hey. <laughs> oh, you just got here. I, I was on another Zoom call and then Christian texted me, hey, you hopping on this thing? I finally looked at his message and uh, yeah, sorry about that. You, would you like us to start over? <laughs> I <to> redo. <laughs> I'm guessing you guys are the marchants. Yes. Yes. Je Je okay. Good to meet you finally. Sorry. I, yeah, I feel bad for coming in late, but I'm here. No worries. Nice to meet you.
So we're going to transition a little bit. Um, Landon, that was awesome. Um, I appreciate you taking your time and sharing all that stuff with us because um, I, I, there's all kinds of things in real estate that I think we wish we were doing that we're not. And to actually talk to somebody that's doing it and it's real, this is how I started. It, ma it makes it seem more attainable and more doable, right? Um, it, it, it's not just this elusive, oh, you know, I, I saw your mashup. Those are killer videos. I could never do that. Uh, but I, I love that you shared that your first ones embarrassed you. <laughs> because they should, right? And you have to have a first. And so I love that. Um, anybody else have any final comments or qu questions for Landon or Tracen? Just to say thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Hopefully that was uh, super valuable for you guys and there's some good takeaways. That's what I want to say is I want to say thank you. That's what I love about our culture um working together is that we're always trying to build each other out, up helping each other get better and the fact that you would take the time today to help all of these people on this call to get better they're your competition <laughs> and you're on here devoting your time to help them be better agents and i just i just love that and and i'm so happy to be in business with you um, and your wife you're just awesome people. I love how authentic you are. I've loved you from the first time I met you. Um, and um, yeah, we're just so happy to, to have you with us. Well, thanks. And again, that's why I'm here, right? That's why I joined with, with your guys' team and, and made the move over because of, of the culture. And that's what I was looking for. You know, I, again, it's, it's finding your tribe and finding people you want to grow with. So that's why I'm here. That's awesome. And, and that's one of the things that we love about this too, is we're, we're doing things right now that we didn't do at our last brokerage, right? This kind, kind of stuff because we're collaborative. And you know what? We're super, super proud of our brokerage and we want our team to grow and we want to attract more people like you. And um, I don't know who, uh, if every single person here is a, 